Hello everyone. So today in ABAP we are going to learn one new object and the object name is fill symbol. So let's see what exactly the fill symbol is and what are the benefits of using the fill symbol. Fill symbol is a placeholder for data object which points to the value present at the memory address of the data object. So what is meaning of this? If you work in other programming language like C and all, there we use pointer concept, right? So here fill symbol, you can correlate with that pointer concept. So let's see how it is declared, how it is used and what is meaning of this sentence in ABAP. So consider a demo program. Here first, I'm declaring one variable. This data means we are declaring this variable, right? gv underscore num is a variable name of type i, that is integer. And here I'm assigning some default value as 10. Okay. In the second line, this is for the declaring, uh, to declare the fill symbol. So for declaring the fill symbol, we cannot use, uh, use data. We have to use this keyword fill hyphen symbol colon. And then inside the less than and greater than sign, we have to give the name for that fill symbols. And after that, we can mention type that is here. I'm declaring as I this is called type fill symbol. Okay. So type of this fill symbol is going to be I. Now what we can do, we can assign this variable to the fill symbol. See so this fill symbol doesn't reserve any memory actually. Okay. Memory is consumed only by data. So here what we can do, we can assign this value to this fill symbol. Okay. And once we print this fill symbol value, automatically this will print the value which is assigned to this variable. Okay. And once we assign after that, if we change the value of this fill symbol, this works in a two way. So automatically the new value of this fill symbol will get assigned to the variable. We will see this like a demo. First, let's see some more theory of this fill symbol, what exactly it is. See, fill symbol doesn't reserve any physical memory space when we declare. Okay. It only points to the data object at runtime. Suppose one variable we assign to fill symbol. So that fill symbol is only pointing to that variable. It does not reserve any memory space. There are two types of fill symbol. One is called as a typed fill symbol and second one is a generic fill symbol. So in case of type fill symbol, after this type, we can mention the respective data type. It is integer, character. We can also assign a structure, table, etc. So once we assign any type, this fill symbol will act only as per type that is assigned. But the second option here is a generic fill symbol. So whenever we are not sure about the data type, which we are going to use at the runtime. Okay. The generic fill symbol mostly used for the dynamic programming, where initially we don't know the complete data type. So in that case, we can use the fill symbol of type any. Okay. For variable structures or for the table, we can use the fill symbol of type any table. Okay. So those are called as generic fill symbol. So what are the advantages of using the fill symbol? So we can use the fill symbol instead of data objects. As I already explained, it does not preserve any memory. It really points. Then we can, instead of work area for reading the internal table, we can use the fill symbol. Because once we use the work area, once we use the work area, that will consume some memory. Okay. And that will consider a separate object. But once we use the work area to read the internal table. So that fill symbol value directly points to the internal table. We'll see with the demo. Okay. Then we can also use to modify the internal table because suppose take example, we have in one internal table, we have like one lakh records. Okay. And we're performing some operations and we want to modify the internal table. So what will happen? Every, we have to use modify syntax, right? For every record to get modified in internal table. But using fill symbol, we don't have to use that modify syntax. That we'll see with the example. 
Okay, we can also use to append the values of internal table and to create a dynamic table. So let's see one example by creating a small demo program. So here in SE38, I will create one program zk underscore demo underscore field symbol. Let me give one. Okay, and here I will write demo on field symbol. Okay, type is SVTL program and save. I am saving as a local object. So what I will do, first I will define one variable. Hmm? Data, let's say gv underscore num, that is number type i, and I am assigning some default value as 25. Okay, now I want to declare the field symbol. So how to declare a field symbol? Field symbols, colon, less than and greater than sign. And in between these, we can give the any name. Okay, generally to follow some standard naming convention, we can use the FS. That is field symbol, but not mandatory. This keyword and the less than greater than sign is mandatory. I'm giving the FS underscore num. And this type field symbol. Okay. Now what I will do. So first I will print the value. Value of variable gv underscore num. Okay. So what is the value of gv underscore num? Here I am printing value of the gv underscore num. I have to use comma here. Now we have to assign the field symbol. If we directly print this, that will not work. Okay. So how we have to assign the variable to the field symbol? We have to use keyword assign. We have to use keyword assign the variable which we want to assign gv underscore num to fs underscore num okay after this only the value of this will get assigned to this field symbol now i want to print the value of this field symbol so how to do that first we'll check whether it is assigned or not with the simple if else statement so if fs underscore num is assigned Okay, in case if you forget to assign and directly we are printing the field symbol, that will give dump. I will explain that also. If that is assigned, so here I will write the value of field symbol. Okay, here I will write value of fs, that is field symbol. fs underscore num and here I will write that field symbol name okay now as I explained this works in a two way so once we assign this variable to the field symbol initially the value of this variable will get assigned to this you can print that value until the time it is assigned to same variable and if you change the value Hmm? of this field symbol okay initially it will be 25 now I want to make as 13 so automatically the value of this variable will get change automatically the value of this variable will get change so what I will do I will again print the same variable value of variable through fs through field symbol fine save check and activate now first i will execute this as it is let's see the value okay let me give the slash to print on the new line so easy to read forward slash we have to use just to print the value on the new line so let me first execute this see Initially, the value of variable is 25 that is getting printed. We assign that variable to the fill symbol. Okay, so the value of fill symbol becomes 25. And after that, I change the value of fill symbol to 13. And here I'm printing the variable again. So the variable value is also getting changed to 13. Okay, so this works in a two way. 
first we are assigning the variable to the fill symbol and then after changing the value of fill symbol the variable value is also getting changed fine and if you want to see the debugging mode just select a debugger uh, set a breakpoint and execute go to desktop 3 see here if i select gv underscore num we can see 25 right and now suppose see still is not assigned right if i click on this fs underscore num see we are getting error message fill symbol fs underscore num is not yet assigned so we'll able to access the value of variables through fill symbol only once it is get assigned now if i press f6 here and now if i click here see now we are able to see the value 25 okay and as i mentioned if it is assigned it is better to check to avoid any dump and now i'm printing the value of fill symbol here and now the value is getting changed so as soon as the value of fill symbol is changed see automatically the gv underscore num value is changed right so this is two way working with the fill symbol now let's see what will happen if you're not assign if you're not assign this variable and we print directly printing the fill symbol so what i will do i will comment this okay i am com also commenting this if else statement hmm? now let's see the dump error see as soon as i execute see fill symbol has not been yet assigned okay so to avoid any type of dump in the real time scenario because dumps are not good right so simply use the if else statement so what will happen if you're using the properly proper if else statement we are checking if it is assigned or not hmm? so even if it is not assigned we will not get any dump see it is printing the value of variable okay and how to unassign once we done done with our work so we can unassign the variable so simple like unassign fs underscore num okay so like this way we can use the fill symbol we can use the fill symbol to point to any variable fine so let's see one more example assigning of substring so how to work do that here i am adding one more variable gv underscore av key in finance bkpf table there is one field called av key 20 character field is there okay and most of the time okay i will assign the value later and one more here fill symbol i am defining of type char type c fine we have done with this example so better i will comment this just to avoid any confusion okay this is comment now what i will do first i will assign the value to this av key if you're working with the finance reports and all in some report most of the time we found this av key contain the value that is concatenated by BUKRS, Belnar, and GJHR. Let me open any table here. Okay, BKPF, I will open here. So, in some cases, okay, that AOKI contain the value of BUKRS, Belnar, or GJHR. Or sometimes it is material document, okay, MKPF, that is only the GJHR and the material document number. Let me open MKPF also. Sometime in the LK key in the finance, we get the combination of this MBLNR, MJHR. Okay, so, and if you want to identify the only material document number that we can do with the substring. Okay, so here I will take the example of finance document. For example, my company code is 1000 and my company code is four digit, always four digit. Okay, and my accounting document number is let's say 00. Three. Okay. Ten. Complete ten digit. Okay, according to document number is complete ten digit. Fine. So here it is my ten digit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Followed by the fiscal year two zero two three. Fine. Now what is my requirement? 
I want to assign only company code of this document. First, we will see only company code. So, what we do in real time to read such substring? We use zero plus. See, in SAP, all the all the number is start with zero here, right? For first position is zero, one, two, three, like that. So, zero to four, one, two, three, four. I have to read to assign the company code to this field symbol. So, how we can do in this case? See, assign. GV underscore L key. I want only first four digit. I want to assign to the field symbol. So what I will write plus zero inside the bracket four two FS underscore FS underscore care. Okay, and I will check if FS underscore care. If fs underscore char is assigned, then I will print that value. And if okay, value of same write statement I will write here. Value of field symbol fs underscore char. So what I want, I want to assign only the value of the company code. So let's see how this is work. So I set a breakpoint here, select this, and click on breakpoint. Okay. So here, if I check the value of GV underscore L key, see it is contained the complete value, right? Company code, accounting document number, and fiscal year. But if you see here, this four digit contain only the company code. Zero to four means first four digit. If I click on F six, check the value of FS care. You can see here the company code. Okay, the value of fill symbol that is FS care is thousand. That is company code is thousand. Similar to example, we want to assign the finance document number. The first four digit are company code. So what I will write here four. Plus ten. Let's see how it is coming. We should get the value till eight. Okay, zero zero to eight. Now we'll check again. So first four digit of company code. Okay, that I want to exclude. I want to assign only document number. Now if I print it's the same. See, this time we can see the only document number. Okay. Like this, we can also change the value of company code, the fiscal year, document number at runtime, if you want, if we require. So, like this way, we can assign the complete value of variable to the field symbol, and we also learn how to assign the partial value using the substring concept. This is called substring concept, right? We are assigning some string part to the field symbol. So, like this way, based on our requirement, we can work. We can make use of this field symbol. So, with this small example, okay, we will learn the basic concept of field symbol and how to use that in our program. Thank you.